Hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista, and I have been to the Dollar Tree getting ready for the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl weekend. And guys, I want to show you something. I want to thank somebody also. This video is going to be two folds, okay? I went into the Dollar Tree looking specifically for something to make these adorable spirit fingers with. Aren't these the cutest thing you have ever seen? My girl, Carrie, from Very Carrie, I'll put her information down below, made these for my little girl, and she sent these to us over the Christmas holiday. Now, I went into my Dollar Tree. Thank you so much, Carrie. You know I love my girls to death, and anybody who does anything for them, I just think they are so cute. Oh, my goodness. Aren't these guys the cutest thing you have ever seen? Okay, let me focus because I could do this all day. These things are so freaking cute. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan. She made these specifically for us because we all are Eagles fans. But I went into my Dollar Tree today trying to find the little black gloves. Dollar Tree offers them two for a dollar. I wanted some in black because while the guys are watching the game, we will be making spirit fingers. Aren't these cute? Guys, seriously, how can you not smile when you don't, when you have these on? I had never seen them before. She made them, sent them to my daughter, and I just think this is just incredible. She did so, yeah. this pair for Magnolia. And wait till you guys see these. They are just so cute. Look at these. Pow, pow. pow. Aren't these just so cute? It looks like a little ring pom-pom. And, um... Very cute, Carrie. So I went out looking for gloves for the ladies to, uh, you know, do something during the game. We have young children that come to our game. We're not, you know, the grown and sexy crowd. We are kind of the crowd with kids. And I just think these are going to be cute for the uh, kids to make. So we're going to try to do spirit fingers for all the little ones. And these gloves, because they are stretchable, they're made just like these. You know, I can pick up a couple of packages of these. The reason I didn't get them yet, look how animated I am with my hands. Uh, my Dollar Tree did not offer them in black. I want to get all black and then do different color yarn. So uh, I think everybody that I know that comes in here and tells me anyway, I think I may have a couple of Dallas fans. And I just want to get some different color yarns and we're going to make our spirit fingers and our glammed out little diva glove. Yes, so nice. Thank you so much. And lest I forget, also Dollar Tree offers t-shirts. And you see what I have around my neck? Another big thank you for those, Carrie, from Magnolia. I appreciate it. Look around my neck, guys. Isn't this cute? I got to show y'all this also. She made this for me, the Frugal Nista. So cute. In my Eagles Green colors. Isn't that cute? Very, very chic, Carrie. Love it, love it, love it. I can dress this up or down. I actually bought um, something that technically I can dress this up, guys, and, you know, sport this too church look at this look at that oh yeah look at that yeah glam it out do one or two these are my earrings by the way I probably could find a brooch to put on here but yeah because in my church my pastor is a huge Eagles fan and you know we just kind of go all eagles around here. But look at that. Very, very nice. Now, I'm wearing it today just with a little sports shirt. But I seriously think I can dress that up or down. And, guys, she made this with T-shirts. Um, and y'all know our Dollar Tree offers T-shirts also. So I may get a bunch of T-shirts and let the moms make these. And we'll do the spirit fingers for the girls. And I just think that it's just going to be too cute. Too, um, just too cute. Thank you, Carrie, so much. I, I, Y'all, the Frugal Nista has issues with taking gifts and things like that. I know. I think it's a pride thing, and y'all know what goes before pride. So thank you so much. I have left my comfort zone and accepted something from somebody, and I really am glad and happy that she decided to do that for me. Thank you so much, girl. Again, I'm going to put all Carrie's information down below. Y'all check her out. She is everything. Most of you guys already follow her, but she is really, really a good YouTuber to have in your subscription. So check out Carrie. All right, guys, let's get started with the rest of our haul. Again, it's the Super Bowl. We're going to try to do this really quick. Um... Now, I've hauled this stuff before, so I'm not going to show you, but I did want to show you this. The Dollar Tree offers all kinds of football goodies. You cannot beat it. Uh, I've shown you all of these before, but I bought this out because to show you what I use my cups for. 
Dollar Tree has theme cups. Y'all have all seen them. But y'all have seen me haul my big bags of chips like these. I went and picked up more chips. This is what I give my kitties to put their chips with in, in. I don't like the whole germ factor. I don't like getting the great big gigantic bags from my BJ's and Sam's Club because I end up, after the Super Bowl, I have just these big old tubs that I would fill with chips, not to mention the whole germ ick factor. Everybody's sneezing and coughing over all of the same chips. And I have a lot of little ones also. But I give the little ones this. I, you know, put this out and I'll show you how I display this. So and I guys, look at the look. Now this basket sits out in my home. It generally sits on my kitchen table, but I just put this out on the coffee table full of all of my Dollar Tree snacks. This way people will have a variety of items. As you can see, the chips. I have some skins back here. I have uh, some tortilla chips for the dip. Now, I'll put those tortilla chips out, but then I'll have like an extra bag back there in case somebody wants to grab some tortilla chips. Again, look at the little pepperonis. I think those would be cool. My nephews love the beef jerky. I'm going to pick up a couple of the beef jerky. I noticed that our Dollar Tree had them uh, by Butterball and turkey. So I put a couple of beef jerkies here. I got a pickle. Even, guys, my Dollar Tree offers peanuts. I don't have to put these out. If anybody wants peanuts, stick those peanuts here. Put a couple of festive football napkins, okay? And then my nieces and nephews already know, Aunt Bib, may I? And they just go over there and help themselves. That way, guys, it is cold and flu season. You have to be mindful of that, especially with little kids. And it's just especially period. I just think that's a better alternative. It works out a lot better to me than throwing away so much after the party that people did not touch. And yeah, that works for me. Another thing that I'll throw in that basket Dollar Tree offers candies. I grab all kinds of these movie type candies. I picked up some Nerds. That goes in my basket. I picked up some Sour Patch. Another pack of Nerds. And some Raisinets. You know, just all kinds of candies. People like to munch and eat. Y'all know the Frugal Nista likes Butterfingers. You put some of that over there. And I even picked up some packages of these little Sour Patch Kids gum. Never had those, but I'll stick those out. Picked up two packages of those. My little Werther's. Now I'll put these out like on the table, but y'all know I love my Werther's. So there you go. And yeah, look at that. How cute is that? To put that right on the coffee table. Yep. Put a couple footballs around it and you have a nice display and they can grab and go. So I think that's it Super Bowl related. Yeah, the only thing I have to pick up are the beef jerkies and I'll run in and pick up those before Sunday. Now, guys, something has replaced my beloved bagels. I've been hauling these since I found out about them. Family loves these. I picked up another package of those, but I hauled this before also. When I tell y'all this stuff is so some kind of good, it's so good that I actually paid full price for it in my grocer. The beloved Schmidt Amazing Raisin Brand Bread. Oh my goodness, this is oh so kind of good. It is my guilty little pleasure. It's a carb, I know. I'm a sucker for a good bread. Guys, this stuff is so good. I told you it's so good that I paid full price. I paid $4.19 for it in my local shop right when I could not find it in my Dollar Tree. And as I understand it, all Dollar Trees don't get it. And even in my area, all of them don't get it. So I was just so happy to be able to find this that I picked up not one, not two, not three, four. I picked up five loaves. We're eating on one now. I know that's crazy. But I'm probably going to give my mother-in-law one. She likes stuff like this. And this is a kind of gift, seriously, if you, you know, somebody like a mother-in-law or a grandmother or a nice neighbor, you can't beat that for a dollar, guys. This stuff retails for $4.19, and I bought it for $4.19. It's really good. So I'm going to go back old school. My mom used to freeze our bread when we were little. I used to hate it because I hated getting cold bread out of the freezer. But I think I'm going to freeze two loaves because it's so hard to get. It's so hard to get that I want, I didn't know that my Dollar Tree even offered it. These ladies were like, it was the Hope Diamond sitting up on that bread thing. 
The good thing about it, the frugalista is tall, so I was able to grab five loaves. Now, I did share with those little ladies, and they were kind of elbowing, but it was like the baker, the you know driver, sat the bread down. It was like a swarm on them, so I was grabbing, and I am going to freeze a few loaves and give my mother-in-law one. But if you guys see this in your Dollar Tree, The Amazing Raisin by Schmidt, oh, so good. Grab it. I think it's replaced my bagels. The girls have not really been eating the bagels since we discovered this raisin bread. Okay, and then just another plain loaf of bread. Just right Okay, guys, let's go through our frozen stuff. Now, I when I saw somebody haul this, I can't remember who it was. Look at this, guys. The Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Spiral Pasta and Vegetable. I used to buy these all the time back when I was single. This would be my little side dish for Artie uh, when we were just, you know, two newlyweds. And when I saw these, I've had them before. Now, I guess the packaging is different because you can actually probably put this in the microwave. I probably won't put it in the microwave. I don't like microwave like that. I'll just put it on a little saucepan and let it simmer. And, um, yeah, this is really, I think, a really good deal, guys. It's 12 full ounces. And this is the oven roasted garlic butter. And it has like a garlic sauce, butter sauce in it. So I won't even put butter in this. I'll just let them, you know, kind of saute on the stove. That's going to be nice with a fish or a chicken. But yeah, bird's eye, name brand, can't beat that. And I think that's really, really a good deal for 12 full ounces. And that package is full. That's enough, seriously, I think, for the girls. And um, yeah, so I picked up five packages of these guys. I think that was really, really a good deal. Yeah, I picked up five of these. It's another one somewhere. And more frozen stuff. I always uh, pick up the little broccoli cuts. I've been buying these recently. Can't beat it. Another little quick side dish, sometimes with fish or chicken. Okay. And here's that other bird's eye. And I saw you guys, uh, I've seen you haul these also. These are the spring rolls. And they're 10 in a pack. They look really nice. I don't know. Jennifer Garden, Garden, I don't think I've ever tried anything from this brand before. These are all well within the expiration date. These don't expire until like 2016. But I think that's going to be nice. Another little quick, um, you know, just something quick. I like, you know, little spring rolls. So I picked up two packages though to see how I like them. I don't know if I like these or not because I've never tried them. But y'all know for me, if I like it, I'll repurchase it. And hopefully they'll be there more this time fruit I got some sliced peaches for a dollar these little bags are 12 ounces also and that's by TJ farms y'all you've seen those before uh, my girls have been loving uh, green smoothies and I like putting frozen fruit in them so I picked up some pineapple chunks and for a cost analysis I usually pick up my frozen fruit from BJ's and Sam's Club, and I think this is just as good, and this way I'm getting a more variety. I picked up some blueberries, more pineapple chunks, a fistful of spinach or kale, frozen fruit, and sometimes I'll do a yogurt in it. They love it, love it, love it, and it's a good way to get some you know, healthy stuff in you. It's a nice little treat, and they really like it. And I also picked up some sliced peaches. Yeah, so I tried it that way this time as a, to get more of a variety. And they offer all kinds of fruits, guys. They offer the strawberries and, you know, just all kinds. Now, up next are a few as-seen-on-TV items. Now, I, I, I just got probably all in the height. I saw these. And it's probably an impulse buy. It was only a dollar. But this is the Gourmet Dishes in a Minute, a stone wave microwave cooker. Despite me not being much of a microwave type girl, if I don't use this, I'll give it to my mother-in-law. She always asks me where I get things from, and she's not really a Dollar Tree shopper. But that I think that's really cool. And you know it costs more than a dollar. So uh, I might give that to her. And I didn't want to miss out in case it really, really is good. I'll look at it. I'm not going to bother opening it now, but it looks, it's heavy also. So it looks like it's definitely more than a dollar. I might even go pick up another one for me. 
or see if I like it well enough to use it. We'll see. My Dollar Tree had tons of these, but y'all know they probably will sell out of these. So if you are into that, this kind of stuff, it's an As Seen on TV item. So pick that up. Might pick up another one. But this one right here, this is so the frugal nista. Y'all know I love to eat. My mouth is watering looking at this. Look at this, guys. It is the perfect bacon bowl. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that look good? Looks so good. So this weekend, I'm going to be making something probably uh, with the bacon. Oh, that looks good. So yummy. But you can also do bread bowls. So I might do a bread bowl for a dip for this weekend. Yeah. It just creates the perfect little bowl, food bowl. And here they have it with bacon, and they also did it with bread. Probably just take a little bit of Pillsbury dough and bake it, and it just makes a nice little cup for bread. So, yeah, I'll use that this weekend for the Super Bowl. And you know that's more than a dollar, I think. So, yeah, pick those as seen on TV items up. And I think that's it for kitchen, except I picked up this, which I thought was a good deal. Look at this Lysol, guys. My Dollar Tree had a bunch of these also. And this is the really, really heavy concentrated kind, guys. It makes five gallons. And that's in a lemon scent. And again, Lysol kills 99%, you know, 99.9 .9 of virus and bacteria. So that's going to be good. So I picked up two of those. And to go with that, I picked up a little spray bottle so I can have one, you know, just a, a new one specifically for this. And I think I have another spray bottle that I'll probably put this one in my kitchen and probably throw one in the guest bathroom, maybe. So I think that's a good, you know, for a dollar and it makes five gallons. You can't beat that. Yeah, so I just picked up two of those. And I think that's it for the kitchen. Moving into, like, personal stuff. Y'all know I'm on a quest to find the perfect Dollar Tree body wash. I finally picked up more of my body ecology. But in between, I wanted to pick up some uh, body washes from the Dollar Tree. I think this is going to be it. My husband really likes this, and this one is 50% more than the 12 full ounces. This has 18 full ounces. And he he really liked this, so I picked this up for him. I didn't realize they had this one, because one of my Dollar Tree offered the big bigger size, and then I just picked up another two 12 ounces at another Dollar Tree. Um, so I'll be on the lookout for these. So yeah. This is his go-to in addition to the body ecology that we both like. But you can't beat this. And I really like the lather of this. It doesn't leave me dry. The girls have been using it. No irritations. You know how it is. Uh, they they kind of have a tendency to have sensitive skin. So, yeah, I think this is going to be it. I did not like the kind with the argon oil and the blue container. I don't remember the brand, but I did not like those. So, yeah. I picked up these cute little satin pillowcases in pink. For the girls uh pillows yeah my girl tree was hauling these and i saw these and i picked them up so i just picked those up in pink can't beat that for a dollar needed some tissues for the car the little softies picked up a pack of those now this is new to my dollar tree the aqua fresh extreme clean okay i picked up two packages of those and this is pretty a big one, guys. This is um, bigger than the one I'm, you know, normally get. This is 56 ounces. Yeah, and this is an icy cool filling that lasts. So I can't wait to try that out. Aqua Fresh. Picked up two of those. I needed some disposable razors in pink. I like those. And they are 10 in here. Typically, they're 8, but these have 10. The girls and I go through those. Okay, something glass in here. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this in my girl's bath. This little cream and black matches the theme they have in their bathroom. It's a uh, toothbrush holder, and you can also put the toothpaste in there. So I'll be using that in the girl's bathroom. They didn't have the cup to match, though, but that's fine because they use disposable cups anyway in their bathroom. Look at these guys. I found this little Life's Better in Pink. For Mirabella's room. Okay. I've seen a couple of you haul these. Really, really cute little sign that's going to look nice. Either I'll put it on an easel. The Dollar Tree also offers the little black easels. Uh, or I might hang it. Because it does have 
the little ribbon if you want to hang it on the wall. So I picked that up. I've seen you guys haul these little sign also, the kitchen rules and the bathroom rules. Uh, this is the bath time rules. I picked that one up to put in the girls' bathroom. has a little rubber duck on it. And I like the little scroll writing on it. It almost looks like um, chalk. And in their room, that little script writing I have throughout. So I think that kind of matches. I'll sit that in their bath. And then the kitchen rules, I'm thinking about, I picked up both of those because they really are small. I was going to put it on an easel, perhaps by the sink or something, but we'll see. Or I might be using this downstairs. Um, we're getting ready to do something with the basement. And if I have a little kitchen area. Now up next are these uh, little cute snack bowls. They have a little flip lid. I picked those up. They're two in a pack for the girls to use in their lunch. And I just picked up the pink top. They had them in pink, purple, all different types of colors. A nice little storage container for their lunch. Now, here's some arts and craft things. I thought these were really cute. And I'm going to use these little curling ribbons. They all have a animal print vibe going. Look at that one. I'm going to use these when I send out my packages for my little online business. I use a lot of curling ribbon. That's going to be cute. I like that one. Love the pink and white one. And even for like packages, you know, you're always decorating packages and curling ribbon is so cute. And even look at the zebra print. Yeah. Hadn't seen those in my Dollar Tree before. And uh, yeah, and this is by um, Celebration Line. Dollar Tree's been getting a lot of nice party supply stuff, but that's the actual vendor. Yeah, so I picked up three of those. Here is a movie. I picked up Brewster's Place, one of my all-time faves. Yeah, really, really a good movie. Something nice to stick in the car for a long trip. Yep, so I picked up that. That's the only movie I picked up. I went through the movies, but from an impulse standpoint, that was the only one that I bought. Needed some placards, so I always grab four at a time for, you know, everybody in the family. These come 50 in a pack. You can never have enough of these, and somebody's always asking me in the family, Mom, do you have a flosser? Okay, now I picked up these for my husband. He's been having uh, an issue with his shoulder, uh, an old injury that he re-injured doing our little ice. He did a little ice capade slip and hurt his shoulder again. He's been complaining that it hurts. And this is actually a name brand, Absorbine. And um, it's supposed to, you know, be big enough. And he keeps talking about his shoulder hurting him. So I'm going to see how he likes those. And if so, I'm just going to pick up a bunch of these. Yeah. Y'all know the older we get, we just get more aches, I guess. But So I picked up two packages of those. I hope that kind of helped him. Poor thing. And then I saw these. Now, I've never heard of this brand. And they also are like heat activated with medicine in it to relieve sore muscles. So perhaps that might help him also. And these have 20 patches. So these must be really, really smaller ones. But I'll see, you know, if he likes those or not. I needed some gel for my hair. And this brand, I've never tried before. Mm, it does have a smell to it. But it's by, is it Organics? Oh, no, the Lusty. Lusty Organics. Just some gel when I, you know, pull my hair back in a ponytail. I smooth my edges out with gel sometimes. And I just, I just thought this was a pretty big container. Yeah. So, anyway, I picked up some gel. Should be good. It smells good. And then I think... Okay, guys, now coming to the end of the haul, I have some Valentine's stuff um, besides this scotch tape. I always get this, guys. Picked up some scotch tape. Now, I didn't need any of this Valentine's stuff, so technically all of this is probably impulse buying. And you can tell how impulse of a buyer Dollar Tree Store is. Mirabella was with me and wanted this, and I picked up one for her. And I must forgot I picked this one up while she was with me and bought another one. But this is going back. But these are some cute little fashion valentines. They're 30 cards. That's not bad to get 30 in a pack. And it also has two for your teacher. And they're really cute. Uh, really um, 
kind of a grown-up look. She's past the Frozen and the princesses and SpongeBob type stuff. But I thought these were cute for her to pass out to her little friends. And um, they have XOXO Be Mine. And they even have little stickers. So she'll use those. And there are actually 30 in there, which is good. I picked up these for her class also. Y'all have to remember, I think I showed you guys the lips that I picked up. But I was thinking also, guys, this is going to be great for when I mail out little uh, items. And especially the lips. So if my Dollar Tree, if these last, because I did see a lot of these, but they're 40 in a pack. We're going to be using these for treats for her class. But I think I'm going to be going back to pick up these when they go if they go off 50%, because I can use these in my mailers when I do my online sales. These are gonna be cute to put little, you know, some of the things that I sell online. And as you can see, these kind of match or go with her little Valentine heart. And we'll put a little treat in there for her friend. And guys, they're 40 in here. That's a lot for a dollar also, 40. In the cute little zebra print design. Her and her sister still get Valentine's Day baskets from their dad, and I'll stick these in here. These are little sungla uh, sunglasses, little sunnies with a little heart. Very nice. And look at the little rhinestone around them. Very cute. So I picked up two of those. This little necklace. Uh, I think I pulled the tab on one of them. So I picked up two of these also. Mirabella will probably wear this to school on Valentine's Day. And it's just a little light up. I don't want to pull the tab on them. Oh, well, this one's been pulled. You might not be able to see because of the sun, but they do light up. That's going to be cute. So I'll put that in their Valentine's Day basket. Okay, from their daddy. These were two for a dollar. This little centerpiece. I just thought that was cute. It's in pink. And it makes this little, cute little uh, glittering uh, arch. Just table decoration. I'll put out some decoration also for Valentine's Day. I have tons of that decoration downstairs. But I just thought that was cute for 50 cent. Impulse. You can just impulse your way out of all your money fooling around with the Dollar Tree. This is another 50 cent item. And little hearts on it for cupcakes. Yeah. So perhaps another thing we might do is let the kids decorate cupcakes for the Super Bowl and I'll have like a little table for Valentine's Day. So I'll probably do that also. This will be used for Valentine's Day along with uh, the Super Bowl this weekend. I'll let the kids make some cupcakes. That'll be cute. But I think I have a cupcake stand that looks like a football. So I don't know. But for 50 cent, you can't beat it, right? I know. I can rationalize, rationalize anything, can't I? But these, I'm going to use these in the foyer. They're the Main Street Wall Creations. Y'all seen these, the Dollar Tree has them. Uh, my girls are getting older, but Mirabella likes to help me decorate for the holidays. And on my foyer, there's a little section that she likes to just put these little decals up and they remove easy. And this does have love and it has peace. Another love and a very 70s vibe. So yeah, she'll use that to decorate my entryway. And she also pulled this up, this cute little heart for the holiday. I did not have a heart like this. And I think I might put this on the front door, but we'll use that for Valentine's Day. And then this little garland also with the little hearts on it. Yep. And that is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching my Dollar Tree haul featuring all of my beautiful items that very Carrie sent you, girl. I appreciate them so much, Carrie. I'm going to have Carrie all of her information listed below. Look how animated I become when I have these gloves on, guys. How could you not? They are just too cute. So we're going to have fun trying to recreate all of our beautiful pieces that you sent us. Our spirit fingers, my diva glove. I keep Notice how I keep saying my... No, I know it's theirs, but you know I wouldn't let them play with them, right? Because I wanted to keep them all nice and new. Yeah, Mirabella was hot like rock. She couldn't wear hers to school. So 
Maybe we'll make some this weekend that she can play in, but these were too cute. No, she has to wear these when she goes to the actual game. And yeah, since the Eagles aren't in it, we are pulling for anybody, and I do mean anybody who beats the Patriots. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.